Hi guys and welcome. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do a time lapse using a Mac um, and the program iMovie. So all we want to do is go down to iMovie here. I've already got it open on the side. So we open up iMovie. Uh, top left hand corner, file, new project. Okay, so we're going to name our project. Today we'll just name it uh, Time lapse demo, and then we go create. Okay, we basically got a blank canvas at the moment. <clears throat> so, what you want to do down underneath the picture here, you want to click the camera, and that brings us, brings us to our photos. Uh, find the photos that you want to import or you want to use for your time lapse. find the top of it okay so we select the top photo of uh, what we want to start with hold down shift scroll right to the bottom of all the photos that you're using for your time lapse Okay, select the last photo. So that now selects them all. They're all highlighted. Grab any still frame, drag and drop. As you can see, there's 369 stills. Uh, this sometimes takes a while, uh, so just find something else to do, surf the net, and then we'll come back to it. Okay, so as you can see, all 369 stills have been imported to the top left. Okay, we're going to select just one photo, hold shift again, scroll right to the top, press it, and then as you can see, all the pictures are highlighted. Okay, what you want to do from here, bottom left hand corner of one still, you're going to press the down arrow, clip adjustments, where it says duration, you're going to change it to four, from 4 seconds to 0 0.5. One, and click the little box next to it which says apply to all stills and then done and then back to the same little corner down to cropping, can burns and rotation and we're going to go fit top left hand corner fit and then press done and that's it if we go down to the little play button here As you can see, all the stills are linked up nicely, and you got yourself a time lapse. Uh, the only thing I don't like about doing it this way is it leaves black edges on either side. Uh, I find that kind of can wreck the illusion you're kind of looking for. So there is one way around this. If you go back to the left hand corner of the still, back to cropping, can burns, and rotation, you can actually go crop. Uh, this won't give you. This won't allow you to get the whole picture in, but it will allow you to get the best part of the photo that you like. So as you can see, you can move it around. So let's put it here. Press done, and we go play again. So what it's done is taken the black edges off either side. Uh, it does lose a little bit of the picture, but I personally think it looks a thousand times better. Um, and that's all there is to it, so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, uh, please subscribe, I'll have plenty more, uh, also be showing you different GoPro mounts, and as you can see this is a 360 degree panning time lapse, which means the camera is actually moving every minute, uh, 360 degrees around, so it takes 60 minutes to do, and I'm actually taking a photo every 10 seconds, so 6 photos a minute for 60 minutes. Alright, thanks guys, bye.